And I noticed these shoes are very light. I'm holding this shoe up with about with one finger. So with a person who uh, who is not so strong, uh, you shouldn't have a lot of problems with these shoes. They can be made lighter or they can be made heavier, depending on what you're doing. Even with younger people, people such as uh, uh, t uh, teenagers, young teenagers or whatever, you're not going to have a lot of problem. Now notice these shoes also, they are about body height and they're about shoulder width apart. So normally we use this as a gauge. You, your shoe should approximate about body height and approximate shoulder width. Now these are a little bit wider than shoulder width uh, because I'm doing something a little more particular. But for, for the most part, if your shoes are body height and shoulder width, you shouldn't have a lot of problems. If, you, if it's a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not gonna cause a lot of it's not going to cause a lot of problems, but we just use, use the body height and shoulder width as a gauge, you know, so you have a good idea as to where to start from. Now we're going to turn your shoes around here, and we're going to get ready to go back out. Now notice how I just walk on the shoes and walk out. We'll be doing that in a few minutes. And watch this crossover. I notice how I get on the shoes. I, I step on one side and I anchor the shoe onto the rock and then I just swing my other shoe over. Just like you would do in a riding a bicycle. You know, you just throw your leg over the side and, and it, as you see demonstrated here, lock one side, throw my other foot over to the other side and try to get in the center of the shoe where, where my 